What's up, y'all? Once again, this is Steve here with you. As you can currently see, you are looking at my music CDs. Because I figure I show you my music CD collection. I have shown you before my music cassette tape collection as well. But I have some more CDs as well. These are ones I have in the cases. Got a good amount of them. But I have more in here in this case. There's all the ones that I have in there. We'll get to them in just a sec. But first, we're going to go through the ones that I have that are in the cases. Now, some of these are um, maybe broken or whatever, and some of them, you know, they're really mixed up, you know. They're in, out, they're in ABC order, but the way I am with music, I'm pretty much a, a variety kind of guy. You know, I like all kinds, like rock, or dance, disco, some heavy metal, not a whole lot, no rap, well, a few of them, but... Not certain people like DMX or 50 Cent, any of them bad rappers or anything. I do like Eminem, I will admit. But because he is a nice guy, as he said have something about a soldier, saying the soldier wanted his autograph, and Eminem said, sure, if I can have yours. Yeah, that's a sign of respect there. Anyway, so these are all the ones that I have in the cases. Let's not, not waste any more time. Push these over, because it's going to be that way. I have a few soundtracks of these, and the rest are just regular ones. So here we go. First, I have Aerosmith. This is a greatest hits album of Aerosmith. On the side, it'll say the spine or whatever. It's Oh Yeah, Ultimate Aerosmith Hits. Feature a lot of songs on here. We have Dream On on this one. Same old song and dance. Good song. Walk This Way, their version without Run DMC, the better version. I really just don't prefer their version with Run DMC. I like Aerosmith's version more. And we have Sweet Emotion, Dude Looks Like a Lady, many others as well, and I believe Janie, uh, uh, what's that song, Janie Got a Gun or whatever it is? It's probably on there. And then we have Walk This Way, performed by Run DMC on disc 2. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, yeah, a lot of songs that they're known for they sang, and there it is, Janie's Got a Gun. Yeah, it's down there. And here's a CD as well, and a, once again, on two discs, here's one and two. And the other one, first one fell out. It's alright. I do like Aerosmiths, I like their music, just to tell you. Next, I have a soundtrack. This is the soundtrack to the Batman movie, the original Batman movie from the 1960s. This thing is hard to find. I found this on Amazon. I didn't really know if they made one of this. And they did. And here's the back of it with Nelson Riddle, the guy who does it. The music composer and conductor. Featuring Cesar Romero as the Joker. Frank Gorshin as the Riddler. And Burgess Meredith as the Penguin. And Lee Merriweather as Catwoman featured on the front. The movie was pretty good, but you know, the ending could have been a little bit better. But this is just like... You know, the orchestra or whatever doing the uh, sounds to the movie. And that's the disc with Adam West and Burt Ward. Like uh, the beginning, like is the main title. Then Batmobile to Airport and many others. Like I said, this <coughs> excuse me, this was hard to find. I found it on Amazon. It could be rare. I don't know. So I paid about $22 for it. But it's worth it. Next I have Billy Idol, Whiplash Smile. I don't remember where I got this from. Could have been a flea market or a record in tape traders as they sell a lot of CDs and stuff. A lot of great songs on here, including To Be a Lover, Sweet 16, which is kind of sad a little bit, but it's still good. Man for All Seasons, which I think is pretty good and Don't Need a Gun, good music video too. And a few others as well that we don't really know about. Where the disc is as well. Huh? And I, I do have Rebel Yell. I just had the CD, though. I don't have the case as well. And I'll show you the next one I have. Now, this is probably the worst album he made. Cyberpunk. From 1993, I think this is from. Yeah. Just features one good song, which is Shock to the System. It's about the L.A. riots and stuff, but it's pretty good. Good guitar sound and stuff. It says on here $4.99. I don't think I paid that much for it. But I really would not pay more than $2 for this. Just because it was not one of the best albums he ever made. And his side is as well. I do have him on cassette as well. Just check out my collection. You'll see him on there. Next I have 
the best of Blondie. Now, I do like Blondie because uh, she is a good singer. Her real name is Deborah Harry. Songs are Heart of Glass. Great song. A few others as well, but I haven't really listened to them. Then we got One Way or Another. And Call Me, the theme from American Gigolo. Good songs. I love Heart of Glass because I like the way she sings. The music video is great, too. <laughs> and uh, the way it is, like... Uh, rest of them like dreaming the tide is high like shots of the music videos or whatever my CD is I got this on Amazon it was a good price for like six dollars I think next I have Bobby Brown don't be cruel this is a uh, very good uh, CD it's I know it's hard to see because there are not a lot of lights on in my room one of the best ones he made is his uh, second album. His first one was King of Stage, which I do do have on CD, but don't have the case. And there's a CD and a shot of him. And a lot of great songs on here. I can pretty much listen to pretty much the entire album. We have Crude, Cruel, Prelude. Then we have Don't Be Cruel, My Prerogative, great song. Roni, Rock With Ya, Every Little Step. And I'll be good to you. I like that as well. And then the rest of them, I take it slow all day, all night. And I really love you, girl. And the crude, uh, crude, not crude, cruel, cruel reprise. <sighs> crude. <laughs> I don't know why I kept saying that. Anyway, next one I have is Bobby Brown, another one. And it's Dance, You Know It. This is a remake of Bobby Brown, which features the songs Roni, Rock With Ya. I apologize that you can't sit there. It is. That's better. Girl Next Door, Don't Be Cruel, Every Little Step, On Her Own, the theme from Ghostbusters 2, My Prerogative, and 17 as well. Yep, and there's a CD too. I got this at Flea Market a while back. It's good to listen to. I'm not a huge fan of remake songs, but they're still good. Next I have The Doors, the best of The Doors, featuring the legendary Jim Morrison on there. It is two discs, but disc two is missing. Uh, because I was listening to it and I don't know where I put it. I'll find it one day. We have on this one, Break On Through, Break On Through to the Other Side. Also heard it from Forrest Gump movie. Light My Fire, great song. Long too, it's like seven minutes. And Mothers as well. Then we got this too. We got Hello, I Love You. L.A. Woman. Um... And Riders on the Storm. Great song, too. But here is uh, this one, just to show you. Yep. Yeah, I do like uh, Break On Through, Light My Fire, and Riders on the Storm. And Hello, I Love You, and Touch You. Great song. No, uh, Touch Me. <laughs> okay. Next one I have is Elton John. This is a greatest hits one of Elton John, but this is like a little CD case. CDs in here, we have great songs on here, which are uh, Rocket Man, I think it's going to be a long, long time, Benny and the Jets, B -b 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 Benny and the Jets, Candle in the Wind, and Crocodile Rock, and Goodbye Yellow Brick Road as well, but I just prefer Benny and the Jets, Rocket Man, and Candle in the Wind, and Crocodile Rock, very good one. Now, here I have a rare one. I got this on Amazon. It's another Elton John CD, but this is Candle in the Wind 1997, the tribute song to Princess Diana, which he sang for her, which is a, it's great, you know, it's just like Candle in the Wind, but with different lyrics, you know. I've seen him perform it. It's great. CD is great as well. I think this is rare. I got this on Amazon, I want to say, for 7 or $8.00. Never really seen anything like this before. I really have. But it is good. And next I have the soundtrack to Forrest Gump. With 32 American classics on two CDs. I have the movie on VHS. Here's this one. And here is this two. Although there is a few songs that are missing on here, which I'll name in a sec. Well, let's just go through the songs we have on this one. Elvis Presley, Hound Dog. We have Rebel Rouser by Dwayne Eddy. 
which is the song they play when he's running. No lyrics in or anything, just guitar and trumpet. Uh, what is this? I Don't Know Why But I Do by Clarence Frogman Henry. The Rooftop Singers Walk Right In, Wilson Pickett, The Land of a Thousand Dances. Joan, Joan uh, Baez, Blowing in the Wind. CCR, Creedence Clearwater Revival, Fortunate Son. The Four Tops, I Can't Help Myself, Sugar Pie, Honey Bunch. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, Aretha Franklin, Respect. Bob Dylan, uh, it's got a little bit of a crack, I can't even read it. The Beach Boys, Sloop John B. The Mamas and the Papas, California Dreamin'. Buffalo Springfield, For What It's Worth, which, which is what they play when he's in Vietnam. Or Vietnam. Jackie DeShannon, What the World Needs Now is Love. The Doors, Break On Through the Other Side. And Simon and Garfunkel, Mrs. Robinson. A lot of great songs. Just two, we have Jefferson Airplane. I know I'm going through the whole thing, but I just want to read it because it's a great soundtrack. The Young Bloods, Let's Get Together. Scott McKenzie, San Francisco, Be Sure to Wear Some Flowers in Your Hair. The Birds, Turn, Turn, Turn. To Everything There Is a Season. Yeah. The Fifth Dimension, Medley, Aquarius, Let the Sunshine In. Harry, Nelson, Everybody's Talking. Three Dog Night, Joy to the World, The Supremes, Stone Love, B.J. Thomas, Raindrops Are Falling, Keep Falling on My Head, Randy Newman, Mr. President, Have Pity on the Working Man, Leonard Skinner, Sweet Home Alabama, The Doobie Brothers, It Keeps You Running, Gladys Knight and the Pips, I've Got to Use My Imagination, Willie Nelson on the Road Again, Bob Seger and the Bullet Band Against the Wind, and Alan Silvestri, Forrest Gump Sweet. It is missing the song Running on Empty by Jackson Brown. I know that. Um, I know there's a bunch of other ones. I'm trying to like go through it as quickly as I can. I don't want to like go on and on. Um, oh boy. I haven't really seen the movie. I've seen it on AMC recently. Just not on VHS or DVD. I haven't. I know there's a few others that are cut from it, but I can't really remember. I really cannot. But anyway, Jackson Brown running on empty is another one, is one that's cut. So anyway, let's move on. I have another soundtrack, and it has a soundtrack to the movie Grease. The best movie ever with John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. They also did another movie called Two of a Kind. Stupid movie. We have Grease by Frankie Valli. Summer Nights, John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. Hopelessly Devoted to You by Olivia Newton-John. You're the One That I Want, John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. Sandy, Beauty School Dropout. Look at Me, I'm Sandra D. Stockard Channing, that is, or Rizzo. Beauty School Dropout is by uh, Frankie Avalon. Grease Lightning as well. Although they're different in the movie version, but on the soundtrack they're, yeah, way different. And other songs as well we don't know. And we got Blue Moon by Sha Na Na. Or in the movie we know him as Johnny Casino and the Gamblers. But really it's Sha Na Na. Rock and Roll is here to stay. These magic, Those magic changes. Hound Dog, their version which is pretty good. Born to Hand Jive. Many others as well. Um, we go together as well. And then the Grease reprise again. And there you are. I have the movie on Blu-ray and VHS. Here's the CD as well. I've seen it on vinyl. I think we used to have it on cassette, but I saw it on vinyl, but I didn't pick it up. I just thought I... I don't know why I didn't get it. Anyway, next I have Guns N' Roses, The Appetite for Destruction, which features Welcome to the Jungle, Night Train, Mr. Brownstone, Paradise City, Sweet Child of Mine, and Rocket Queen, a few others. Not a big, huge fan of Guns N' Roses as much as I used to be, but they still are pretty good. Next one I have is another Guns N' Roses CD, which is Guns N' Roses Live Era 1987 to 1993. A lot of performances that they did over the years on here, and a lot of great songs, including Mr. Brownstone, uh, Welcome to the Jungle. Um, Patience, 
November Rain, great song. Um, what else we got? You Could Be Mine, Sweet Child of Mine, Don't Cry, and Paradise City. It is a two-disc collection. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just one there and just two. And it has a curse in it as well, as it should have a parental advisory on here, and it does not. Got a, a flea market. Next, I have the Essential Daryl Hall and John Oates. Hall Notes. Great songs on here. I'm a big uh, fan of these guys. Love their music, including uh, Rich Girl, It's a Laugh. <clears throat> Man. Um, what else? Uh, you've lost that love and feeling. Kiss on my list. List, not lips. Although it, sounds, it would be cool if it was called that. Private Eyes and Man Eater. And a few others that they did as well. And here is this uh, one in here. Uh, this uh, darn thing might be broken. I may not be able to uh, get this. Uh, how am I going to get this out? <clears throat> um, well, it is in there, but the thing might be broken. It's not letting me go to the next. Forget it. <laughs> not going to waste time trying to get that open. But anyway, there way it is. Next I have the Essential Heart 2 CD collection, but I'm only a fan like of, a, of a, a few songs which are Crazy On You and Barracuda. Yep. And here is uh, this one as well. Can't remember the girls that are in Heart, but um, I do like them. I do like their music. Don't get me wrong. Next, I have, everybody probably remembers these, Jock Jams, but this is Volume 4. I do have one as well and a few others, but they're in uh, the CD case in here, which you'll see soon. We have Yeah Baby by Austin Powers, which is um, how it starts off. Then we got Unlimited, Mega Jam by 2 Unlimited. We got The Space Jam by the Quad City DJs, great song. Getting Jiggy With It, Will Smith, and everybody. Backstreet's Back, the Backstreet Boys. And the other ones that you can collect got Jock Rock as well. Uh-huh. There's the CD. There you go. Next, I have another one, which is Jock Rock Volume 2. Greatest crowd rock and sports anthems of all time. And this has great songs on here. We have a serious... Whatever it is, uh, the Chicago Bulls entrance music or whatever by the Alan Parsons Project. And Fuego by Dan Patrick. It's really short. The Final Countdown by Europe, which is just really quick. Then Rock and Roll Night by Kiss. Respect by Aretha Franklin. Wooly Bully by Sam the Sham. Hold On I'm Coming by Sam and Dave. Low Rider by War. Great Balls of Fire. And Jerry Lee Lewis and Get Ready by Rare Earth and many others. And The Cool Jerk by... The Capitals. Great songs on here. This is probably the best one they ever made. I really think so because the songs are great. There's the disc. Alright. Next one I have. I have Justin Timberlake. Which is Future Sex slash Love Sounds. Which only has the one song on here which I like which is Sexy Back. But I do like Suit and Tie as well. He's a very good singer. You know. He's um. Yeah, he's um he's pretty good. Just uh, sexy back is just good, you know. I like the way it is. I danced to it before as well. Yeah, so figure. Anyway, the CD is and this case is not in good condition as well. Uh huh. I'll fix this if I can. Okay. Next one I have is Kiss Alive, the first live Kiss album from the year of 1975. This is very good. I love the songs on here. We have Deuce, Strutter, Got to Choose, Hotter Than Hell, Firehouse, and Nothing to Lose as well. And this too got Black Diamond and Cold Gin and, and Rock and Roll All Night. Then you have this one right here. And this too. There you go. Next one I have is Kiss Alive 2, 
This one's in bad condition. This is a remaster as well, you know, a remake or whatever. And the band as well, and featuring a nice look of Gene Simmons right there. This one right there, and this too, but the thing is messed up, as you see. Got this a while ago. It probably was record and tape traders, or I don't know. <laughs> Songs on here we have Detroit Rock City, which starts it off. And you got Love Gun. Um, Calling Dr. Love. Christine 16 and Shock Me. Then you got Disc 2, I Stole Your Love, Beth, and God of Thunder, and Shout Out Loud. And a bunch of others on there that we really don't know about. And next I have Kiss, which is Psycho Circus. This is actually a very good one. I, I Excuse me. Hmm. I'm going over my speeches. Tongue tied. It has very good songs in here that I like. Including Psycho Circus. The second one, which is Within. I know it seemed kind of weird or anything, but it's pretty good. Then we have I Pledge I Pledge Allegiance to the State of Rock and Roll. I like the lyrics. I like the way they sing it. It's very good. Into the Void by Ace Fraley, which he does, which is very good. We Are One, which is kind of slow and stuff, but it is pretty good. The lyrics are pretty good. And You Wanted the Best. The only Kiss song where all four members sing it. Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, Ace Fraley, and Peter Chris, And the rest of them as well. But the six on here that I named are good, as I like them. And there's the disc. Pretty freaky looking, but it's a good, it's a good album. And now next I have Limp Biscuit. The chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavored water with the parental advisory. Because Limp Biscuit's pretty good. I like his music. The second one, which is hot dog which has a lot of the f word in it it's still pretty good though it's kind of like heavy metal but it's more like rock to me then we have my generation another pretty good one and my way which is another great one the theme song of wrestlemania 17 and roland air raid vehicle also the undertaker theme song you know keep rolling 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 and get your groove on you know i kind of like that one because it's just the way that it was and I put on there dirty, bad, of it cursing, you know. Next one I have is Limp Biscuit's Greatest Hits. With the parental advisory again. And featuring the songs like in his first album, like we have Nookie. Yeah, I did it all for the Nookie. The Nookie, so you can take that cookie and stick it up your... Yeah. Then you have Break Stuff, and then the rest that I mentioned from the Chocolate Starfish and Hot Dog Flavored Water. And then we have from his other album, Results May Vary, Eat You Alive, and I don't have Results May Vary, and Build a Bridge. The only song in there that doesn't have any curse, and it's kind of depressing a little bit and a little bit sad, but it is pretty good as well as a theme song for Survivor Series 2003, where the disc is. I think I got this at uh, <clears throat> May the Best Buy. Next... We're getting into Michael Jackson. The next one I have is Thriller CD. And, um, of course, this is one of the best that he ever made. We have Wanna Be Starting Something, Baby Be Mine, The Girl Is Mine with Paul McCartney, Thriller, Beat It, Billie Jean, Human Nature, and PYT, Pretty Young Thing. Yeah, a lot of these are very good. This is the, you know, it was the best album he ever made. And there's a CD, too. Got this at record and tape trailers back in the day because I wanted to collect the original one. I did have the remaster one, like from 2001 or every year it was. I don't have any more. And I don't have Thriller 25, the 25th anniversary or whatever it is. Sorry. <clears throat> Next I have Bad, and this is the special edition. This is not the original. Featuring Bad, The Way You Make Me Feel, Speed Demon, Liberian Girl, Just Good Friends. I may have said that wrong. Sorry. Men in the Mirror, I Just Can't Stop Loving You, Dirty Diana, Smooth Criminal, and Leave Me Alone, and bonus tracks, which are Streetwalker and a couple others. My CD is as well. Very good one. And next I have Dangerous. This is the original as well. This is not the remaster. I did have the remaster, but I figure I go to Record and Tape Traders and get the original one because they sell a lot of them. And vinyls too. 
And we got Jam in the Closet. May sound gay or whatever, but it's a very good song, you know? Remember the time, Heal the World, Black or White, Who Is It, Will You Be There, and Dangerous. Very good songs. And next I have Greatest Hits, History, Volume 1. I did have this one, see, um, wait a minute, I did have like the deluxe edition, you know, the big huge one. With this one and this two, which has like Scream and You Were Not Alone and a few others. But great songs on here. Billy Jean, The Way You Make Me Feel, Rock With You, Bad, Thriller, Beat It. Want to be starting some Heal the World. Uh-huh. And the CD as well. Yep. And back. There you go. Next one I have Michael Jackson number ones. And this has not even been open or anything. It's just the way that it is. But it features all the rest of them. But it also features uh, You Are Not Alone, The Earth Song, Break of Dawn, One More Chance, and Ben, live version. I haven't even listened to it. It's uh, sealed up. And the last one I have for Michael Jackson is Michael. Uh-huh. Which only features like a few good songs in here. But the one is Hold My Hand, the duet song with uh, Akon. It's pretty good. I like them the way it is. I know I'm sure some people are not a fan of it, but I think it's pretty good. They do have the new one, Escape, which I do not have, but I have listened to one song on there, and it's actually pretty good. Slave to the Rhythm. I think it is. Next, I have, don't get me wrong on this, Monsters of Rap. This is a CD back in the day that uh, you remember that Got a lot of songs on here, like Baby Got Back by Sir Mix-a-Lot. Yeah, rap song. Walk This Way by Run DMC. You Can't Touch This by MC Hammer. Not rap, more like hip-hop or dance. Bust a Move by Young, M Young MC. Pretty much like a uh, dance song or hip-hop. Ice Ice Baby, Vanilla Ice, definite rap song. And Parents Just Don't Understand by The Fresh Prince, Will Smith, and DJ Jazzy Jeff. Wild Thing by Tone Loke or Tone Lock, whatever. Yep. Good stuff on here. And there's a CD. Next I have In Sync Celebrity, which features only one good song on here, and that is Pop or Dirty Pop. Yeah, it's um not really as good as the one that did like Bye 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 or any others, but it is pretty good to listen to, you know. Don't have the cover for it. But that is the way it would look if it did have a cover. Yep, that's it for that. Now, next one. Now, this one I got at a place called Mega Media Exchange, which sold, like, CDs and stuff. They're out of business. But I think this thing may be hard to find, maybe, or I don't think it's rare. But it's this. Superman the Movie, the soundtrack to the original Superman movie by John Williams. And featuring the back as well with Superman and Lois Lane. And featuring like the Pro Lug and stuff. And this too. And like the helicopter rescue and a few others. This one. And this two. I have it on VHS and Blu-ray and DVD as well. <clears throat> it's very good, you know. I just think it may be hard to find wherever, but I found it and I got it. And there you go. I have another soundtrack, and that is the soundtrack to Toy Story. The movie, it is definitely very good. I like, I love the movie. As a matter of fact, I have it on VHS, and that's it. The way the CD is as well, featuring the song "You Got a Friend in Me" by uh, Randy Newman, many others as well. And there you go. Next one that I have here. This is Television's Greatest Hits Remote Control. I got this on Amazon because they're TV themes. I like TV themes. We've got Night Court. It's all on one disc. It is over 60 of them. Different strokes. Now the world don't move to the beat of just one drum. You know. Mr. Belvedere, Growing Pains, Charles in Charge, Who's the Boss? Um, what else? God, the Golden Girls. 
family ties, police squad, the family feud, the price is right, Monday night football, fantasy island, the dukes of hazard. Yeah, it's got a whole lot on here. It really does. Chips, TJ Hooker, Knight Rider, The Incredible Hulk. Yeah, a lot. But it's definitely good to listen to. I like the stuff on here, and there's a CD as well. Okay. <clears throat> Next one I have TV Classics, TV Game Show Themes, all the original versions as heard on TV. We got Wheel of Fortune, the 1980s theme. Got Jeopardy, the 1980s theme as well. What's my line? I've got a secret password. To tell the truth, Tic Tac Doe, The Joker's Wild. College Bowl, never even heard of that. The Wizard of Odds, never seen it. The Dating Game, The Newlywed Game, The $25,000 Pyramid or Pyramid, The Price is Right, Match Game, Family Feud, and Card Sharks, and a few others. It's very good. I got this a while ago, and I recommend this. You know, if you love game shows and you like game show themes, this is very good. Now, don't give me... Yeah, go ahead and confront me if you want. But the next one I have is the village people. The best of the village people. I mean, I know a lot of people consider them gay or whatever, but, you know, there's some good ones. You got the YMCA. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. Macho Man. Uh, in the Navy, and Village People, as I like that one as well. And that's really it. CD. Okay. And now the last ones that I have are all WWF CDs and E. I'll start with the first one that I have. This one's a good one. First one I have is Full Metal, the album. The first WWF CD ever made. Featuring your favorite wrestler's theme songs. Well, first we have the WWF Superstars and Slam Jam singing the old theme song for Monday Night Raw. We're all together now. The best theme song for Monday Night Raw. And the other one, uh, Thorn in Your Eye. You know how Monday Night Raw started out in that time. Then the uh, entrance themes, you have Diesel, King Mabel, the One Two Three Kid, Goldust, the Smoking Gun, Psycho Sid, Razor Ramon, Brett the Hitman Hart, Hakushi, The Undertaker, which is a theme he never used on here. This one on here, he just really did not use. I know he didn't. Then you have Shawn Michaels and Double J, J Jeff Jarrett, but it's really Double J, Jesse James, with My Baby Tonight. Really good song, like a country song. And there's a CD as well. Next, I do have WWF Music Volume 2, which came out next, but I don't have the case. Next, I have WWF The Music Volume 3 with more great themes on here. And there's the CD. You have The Undertaker. You have Edge, X Pac, Dude Love. Don't take it the wrong way, it's not all that bad. Kane, The Rock, The Brood or Gangrel, Ken Shamrock, The Oddities. Worst theme on there. D Generation X, Sable, The New Age Outlaws. Val Venus and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Great ones. Very good one. Next I have WWF The Music Volume 4. And features uh, good ones on here as well. And there's the CD. I think I got this at a flea market. We have Chris Jericho. Got The Big Show. Mr. McMahon. Or Vincent Mann. No Chance in Hell. Or The Corporation. Mark Henry, Sexual Chocolate. You remember that theme song, probably. Test. This is a test. Wreck, Mankind theme. Oh, hell yeah, Stone Cold. But it's not his theme. It's just like a remake or whatever. Danger at the Door, D'Lo Brown, Blood Brothers, Christian, his theme. Ass Man, you know, Mr. Ass. I'm an ass man. The Ministry, The Undertaker, which is another theme he never used. Then you have My Time, Triple H, and China's theme. On the Edge, Edge's theme, and Know Your Role, The Rocks theme. The best one on there. Next, I have WWF The Music Volume 5. This is the one where The Rock made the song on here, Pie. Which wasn't really all that bad. I've listened to it a few times. There's a disc as well. And we've got The Game by Motorhead. 
which is good. Triple H's theme. Rowdy by K Quick or AK R Truth, as we know now. If you dare, Taz's theme, which is very good. It just feels right. Lita, out of the fire. Kane's uh, second theme, which is really not all that bad. But his first theme was better. Latino Heat, Eddie Guerrero. Latino Heat. I've got it all the one Billy Gunn when he dropped that Mr. Ass gimmick. What about me, Raven? Yeah, what about him? I don't know. Who am I? China's theme and metal. Kurt Angle's first theme. And you got Badman Rikishi's theme when he turned heel. Not all that great. Shooter, Chris Benoit's first theme before he went to the second one. Uh, Turn It Up, Cool Too Cool's second theme song, which is alright, but I kind of prefer their first one. And Pie by The Rock with guest vocalist Slick Rick. Next one I have is WWE Reckless Intent. This is just pretty much another themes, wrestling theme, uh, wrestlers themes as well. You have one here, I Walk Alone by Saliva, Batista's theme. Burn in My Light, Randy Orton's uh, second theme after he left Evolution, which was a very good theme. You still should have it. Hard Hitting, The Coach, Bad One. Crank it up, the Big Show's current theme, which sucks. Holla, Candace, uh, Cameron, I guess. Tori Wilson, a girl like that. Uh, who I am, uh, Carlito, I guess. Uh, yeah. And a few others as well. You got Rob Van Dam as well. Mark Henry, you know, theme he uses. Maria. CM Punk's old theme song, This Fire Burns by Kill Switch Engage. Buyaka, Buyaka 619, Rey Mysterio, which is alright, but I kind of prefer his first one better. And King of Kings by Motorhead, Triple H, is really good theme. I already showed the CD. <laughs> Shoot. Sorry about that. And the last one I have is this one. WWE Raw Greatest Hits, the music. Featuring all the superstars, and unfortunately this guy in the middle, John Cena. Stone Cold, Triple H, The Rock, The Undertaker. Mick Foley and Sean Mike. And CD is in here somewhere. It's uh, right here. And a lot of good themes on here, including, well, John Cena's theme, The Time Is Now, don't even care for it. I won't do what you tell me, Stone Cold, if you smell the rock, what the rock is cooking. The game, Triple H, Sexy Boy, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker. Mr. McMahon, Batista, Evolution, Line in the Sand, Evolution is a Mystery, Chris Jericho, Mick Foley, Trish Stratus, Rey Mysterio, Kane, D-Generation X, and bonus tracks, Melina and Mr. Kennedy. And that's it. So that's it for my CD collection, but we still have more to come. So you guys stay tuned. And I'll be back with the rest of my CDs. All right, we're now back with the rest of my music collection, music CD collection it is. This isn't like part two or anything, it's all in one part. I just had to like show you the rest of them as well as this is all in this little case that I have and they don't have any cases for them. They're just the way the CDs are. These are the way these are so they don't get ruined or anything. It's a pretty old one. I've had, probably had this since 2007 maybe or six. I'm thinking seven. Anyway, and I've got a pretty good amount in here, and this thing, like, would be hooked together. And I have some blank CDs as well, like I burned them on a website called Bear Share. Yeah, I've gotten them on there. So, I'll probably go through them as well. So, let's now continue with the rest of my CDs that I have, and here we go. And they won't be in ABC orders, a lot of these are mixed up. First, we have right here... A Fistful of Alice, Alice Cooper, as I am a fan of this guy. I saw him live in concert in 2002. It was fun and scary at the same time. And why scary, you may ask? Because if you remember the Beltway Sniper incident, John Allen Muhammad and Lee Boyd Malvo, when that situation, when that thing was going on, and it was in Columbia, Maryland, and... You know, everybody was concerned about it, but the concert was really good. He did Feed My Frankenstein, School's Out, many others as well. And this one has, um, starts off with School's Out, and then we have I'm 18, 
Poison, another great song by him, Feed My Frankenstein, Welcome to My Nightmare, and many others. And, yeah, and Feed My Frankenstein does like later in it. And here I have another one of him, but this one has bonus tracks. The way this is, and this one features... The bonus tracks are Billion Dollar Babies and No More Mr. Nice Guy. Both great songs by him. Even though he may be freaky or whatever, but he is still a pretty good singer. Even for his age, you know. He's really cool. Next I have The All-Time Greatest Hits of Roy Orbison, Volume 1 and 2. I'm a big fan of Roy Orbison. I love 60s music and a little bit of 50s music and 70s. I like some of today's music, but not a whole lot. I like good music like this. We have on here Only the Lonely, Leah, which is not really all that great of a song. You know, it's kind of sad a little bit. In Dreams. You know, um, a candy-colored clown they call the Sandman. Tiptoes to my room every night. And just a sprinkle stardust and your whisper. Go to sleep. Everything is all right. I love Roy Orbison. And we have Uptown. Uptown. And then house number three. Yeah. <clears throat> Good stuff. And we have It's Over. You know, your baby doesn't love you anymore. Yeah. And we have Crying. I'm going to be honest. It's hard to listen to this song without crying because it will make you cry. Even when you sing the lyrics of it, when he says it on there, it just chokes me up. I'm sorry to admit, but it's true. Then we have Dream Baby, another great song. Dream Baby got me dream of sweet dreams all day through. Good song. Then we have Blue Angel, another good one as well. And we have Working for the Man. Because I'm working for the man. Working for the man. Then we have the Candy Man, or Candy Man. Let me be... All oh, your own candy, your candy, candy man. Running scared, another great one as well. Falling or falling in love with you. Love hurts as well. Now there's another one that he sings on there. Oh, here it is. Okay. Then we have shot a robot. Never even. I mean, I have listened to it, but it's all right. I'm hurt. Another good one. I like the way that he hits some notes like when he goes, He walked away, the pain began. Dum, bum, bum, bum. I knew I'd never love again. Yeah, good stuff. Mean woman blues like, Mmm, well I got a woman mean as she can be. We have Pretty Paper, which is a Christmas song. Very good song. Willie Nelson also did a version of it. The Crowd... Blue Bayou, also Lynn Ronstadt did a version, and Oh Pretty Woman, all of the best songs that Roy Orbison ever did. Let me just check my phone real quick. Okay. Just uh, in a message from a friend of mine. Okay, uh, now we move on to the next page. And the next one... These are all my Beatles CDs. You know, just the ones that I have that are not in the cases. Sorry. But, it's what I have. But let's start with these over here. I have the Beatles' second album, as you see. Paul McCartney, John Lennon, George Harrison, Ringo Starr. Recorded in England, as it says. We have Roll Over Beethoven, which is a version of the Beatles, which is very good. Uh, Chuck Berry, I think, did as well. Thank you, girl. You really got a hold of me. Devil in her heart. Money. You Can't Do That from Hard Day's Night, which is cut, unfortunately. Long Tall Sally, I Call Your Name, which is really good. Please, Mr. Postman, another great song. Originally written by the Marvelettes. And She Loves You as well, and I'll Get You. Never even heard of it or listened to it, but I should. And then we have Something New, recorded in England as well. We have I'll Cry Instead, also from the movie A Hard Day's Night. Things We Said Today, Anytime at All, When I Get Home... Slow down, Matchbox, Tell Me Why, or Tell Me Why You Cry and Why You Lied to Me, and I Love Her, I'm Happy Just to Dance With You, and I was almost said I'm so happy, If I Fell or If I Fell in Love With You, and Common Jim, whatever it is, it's I Want to Hold Your Hand in Another Language, I don't even listen to it that much, 
Next, we have the Beatles, 1962 to 1966. This is the Red Album, or the Apple CD, you know. It has Love Me Do, Please Please Me, with Love From Me To You, or From Me To You. And all the other ones I mentioned, All My Lovin', Can't Buy Me Love, Hard Day's Night, and I Love Her, Eight Days A Week, I Feel Fine, Ticket To Ride, and Yesterday, also from the movie, Help. Then I have the second one, disc 2, 1962-66. I do have the blue one, but it's on cassette, which I have shown before. We have Help, You've Got to Hide Your Love Away, We Can Work It Out, Day Tripper, Drive My Car, Norwegian Wood, This Bird Has Flown, Nowhere Man, Michelle, In My Life, The Best Song Ever by the Beatles, Girl, Paperback Writer, Eleanor Rigby, and Yellow Submarine. And then I have the Help soundtrack as well, with all the songs from the movie. Help, The Night Before, You've Got to Hide Your Love Away, I Need You, Great Song by George Harrison, Another Girl, which I love, You're Gonna Lose That Girl, another great one, and Ticket to Ride. Then you have Act Naturally, It's Only Love, You Like Me Too Much, Tell Me What You See, I Just Seen a Face, Yesterday in Dizzy Miss Lizzie. Right, make sure I didn't uh, read the name wrong. And finally I have... A Puzzle 90's favorite CD, that is, and that is The Beatles 1. I do love this album, but it's missing a few of them. It should at least have In My Life on it and a few others. As it has, like, The Ballad of John and Yoko, which I don't know why is on there, but it's not bad of a song. And a few others. I got this a while ago at Walmart, actually. And it's very good. It will go with a few. We go from... Love Me Do, with Love From Me To You, She Loves You, I Want To Hold Your Hand, A Hard Day's Night, Help, and it should have I Should Have Known Better on here as well, that's a great song. And many others too, Yellow Submarine, and you have Get Back, The Long and Winding Road, and Let It Be as well. <clears throat> uh-huh, and that's it for the Beatles CDs that I have. Next I have The Beach Boys, The Very Best of The Beach Boys, Sounds of Summer. It contains 30 songs in here of the Beach Boys, including California Girls, I Get Around, Sloop John B, Surfer Girl, Surfing USA, Little Deuce Coop, Don't Worry Baby, In My Room, Kokomo, Wouldn't It Be Nice, Do It Again, Good Vibrations, a lot of Beach Boys songs, very good ones too. Just not the song The Warmth of the Sun, which is really good, and... No Little Saint Nick either because it's a Christmas song. And if you do this thing, you like turn it around, it makes you all dizzy as well. Um, well, not really, just a uh, little thing. Look into the CD. Look at it. Look at it. You are getting very sleepy. Yeah. It could be a lot easier. But, okay. You just like turn it around and it just like looks like a memorizing thing. You know. You know what I mean. Uh-huh. Got this at Walmart back in 2006, I think. Or seven, whatever year it came out. And now we move on. Next are my Kiss CDs. Because I love Kiss, you know. Never seen them in concert. But here we go. I have the first album, Kiss. Made by Casablanca. And it says, We have Strutter, Great One, Nothing to Lose, Firehouse, Cold Gin. We have Let Me Know, Kiss in Time, Deuce, Love Theme from Kiss, which has no lyrics, and Black Diamond. Great one as well. Then we have the second album, which is Hotter Than Hell, which only featured, which is only, only has three good songs that I like, which is Got to Choose, Going Blind, and Hotter Than Hell. I'm sure that there's a bunch of other ones that are good too, but I haven't really listened to them. Now the third album, you know, is Dress to Kill, which I do not have because it only has the good one, which is Rock and Roll Night. I have Kiss Alive, I have the CD, and here is another one, which is disc 2. This is from the remake, or the remaster, but I don't have disc 1 as it got cracked. My bad. Next one I have is Rock and Roll Over, which features my favorites, I Want You, Colin Dr. Love, and Hard Luck Woman. Great songs on here as well. I'm sure there's a bunch of others that you like on there. Next is Destroyer, which I have. I think they did it like a remake or something of this. I'm not sure exactly. We have Detroit Rock City, King of the Nighttime World, God of Thunder, uh, Shout It Out Loud, Beth, and Do You Love Me. Great songs on there. 
And next is Kiss Alive 2, which I do have, I already showed you. My CD collection, and I'm trying to think, like, what else? Well, <clears throat> we'll just move on to this one. Next one, if I'm forgetting an album, don't worry about it. Next one I have is Dynasty. Or in Australia, they call it Dynasty. Dynasty. Which we have, I Was Made for Loving You. Sure Knows Something, and that's about it. Yeah, I Was Made for Loving You and Sure Knows Something. They're very good. And this is the last album that featured Peter Chris on here before he left the band, unfortunately, and wouldn't return until 1995 or 96. I think it was 96. Now, for the rest ones, like, um, Unmass, I think, whatever it is, I don't have that, or Crazy Night, whatever the albums are from the 80s, you know, I don't have a lot of them, but I have this one. I have Creatures of the Night. I love Creatures of the Night. I love the first song as well, as I mentioned. I love it loud. And War Machine. I love War Machine. I like the sound. It's got a crack in it, unfortunately. I'll have to look for another one. And this is the last one to feature Ace Fraley, even though he does not play. As they say in this album, he was replaced by Vinnie Cassano or Vinnie Vincent, who was a waste. You know, he only lasted for like seven or eight months with the band, or maybe shorter than that. And he be replaced by Mark St. John, whatever his name was. And he didn't really last that long year. Then Bruce Kulik came along. Great uh, guitar player as well. Then he was replaced by Ace Fraley later in the 90s when they would have their reunion. Uh-huh. Now moving on to the rest. Now, I'll show this one because this is a good one. I've got Kiss, Smashes, and Thrashes, and Hits. We have, for the second one, You Make Me Rock Hard. Great song. Love Gun, Detroit Rock Saint. Also, I have Love Gun as well. I just don't know where I put it. I put it away somewhere. Forgot to mention that. My bad. And we have I Love It Loud, Deuce. We have Beth, but it's Eric Carr's version. It's not Peter Chris. And he does a very good version. Eric Carr was a great drummer for Kiss. Probably better than Peter Chris in a lot of people's opinions. He was amazing, you know, but passed unfortunately in 91 very sad too yeah dearly missed and many other songs as well and it, it's very good you know it's different the next one i have is kiss revenge and this is also a tribute album to eric carr because the last song in there which is car jam 1981 you know it's, it's a tribute one to him and we have unholy great one and we have God Gave Rock and Roll to You. A lot of people like the song Domino, but I haven't listened to it. And I Just Wanna, or I Just Wanna Forget You. Great song, great album, love it. Next one I have is Kiss Alive 3 with Paul Stanley, Gene Simmons, Bruce Kulick, and Eric Singer, who would replace Eric Carr. And he would be the drummer until Peter Chris would return, as you know. But Peter Chris would later leave Kiss again and would be replaced by Eric Carr. Eric Carr. Eric Sanger in the early years, like 2001 or 2, whatever year. Then Peter Chris would return again, but only for like a year or so. Then he was replaced by Eric Sanger, who is still with them right now. And Ace Frehley would continue to be with the band, but he would leave him like in 2003 or 4 or 2004. Five, I think, or whatever year it was, and he was replaced. I think it was no, I think he left in 2004, and he was replaced by Tommy Thayer, who is the current guitar player for Kiss as well. And I do not like Tommy Thayer at all. I think he is terrible. Ace Frehley forever. Eric Singer is good too, but nobody can replace Ace Frehley. Uh huh. And this one also, I didn't even say the description of this. This has great songs. The first one is Creatures of the Night. Then we have Deuce. I Just Wanna, Heaven's on Fire, great song by Kiss, amazing song. Uh-huh. And we also have uh, Rock and Roll Night, Shout Out Loud. Wait a minute. No, I don't think it has Shout Out Loud. We have, uh, no, I don't think Shout Out Loud is on here. I think I made a mistake. We have Detroit Rock City, Rock and Roll All Night, Forever. I Love It Loud, God Gave Rock and Roll to You, and many others. And there you are. Next one I have is Greatest Kiss, like Greatest Hits of Kiss. We have pretty much the ones I have on the album that I mentioned, like uh, Strutter, 
Deuce, Sure Knows Something, I Was Made For Loving You, many others, but it has a live version of Shout Out Loud from their concert in Detroit in 1996 or 8 or something. And it's um, very good. I love the live version. They sounded great. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. Next one I have is the soundtrack to the movie Detroit Rock City. Now, don't take this the wrong way, but this movie was not all that great. I mean, it has Edward Furlong, the guy who was in the movie Terminator 2 Judgment Day, as the kid, John Connor. And a few other of his friends, like whoever the hell they are. And there are four guys that are going to um, Detroit for the KISS concert. As they supposedly like won a minute contest, but they never did because their friend right here, the the guy um right here on my finger is um what is his name? A trip is his name in the movie. He didn't like give his name and stuff, and they didn't give him the tickets, so they had to give him somebody else. But they still wind up going to the concert by beating themselves up and blaming it on other people, and they wind up getting in just like that. Like I said again, the movie was not all that great, but the performance of Kiss was good as well. It has good music in it, like a few Kiss songs, though. Uh, can't really remember, like, uh, a few of them. I just don't really remember, but it has Van Halen, Running with the Devil, Cat Scratch Fever by Pantera, David Bowie, Rebel Rebel, I think, and a version of Strutter by the Donas, the, or the Donas, whatever, the girl band. Uh huh. And a version of Highway to Hell by Marilyn Manson. Next, I have the very best of Kiss, which is all of Kiss's best hits. You know, all the ones that I mentioned Rock and Roll Night, God Gave Rock and Roll to You Forever, Lick It Up, another album that I don't have. Sorry. The New York Groove, a great song by Ace Fraley. Love Gun, Christine 16, many others. Great songs. And then I have 20th Century Masters Kiss, which features like all the songs that I mentioned. Once again, it's two discs, disc one and disc two. And that's basically it. And that's all my Kiss albums. Next one I have the Essential Roy Orbison. All of Roy Orbison's best hits. And the first one, Ooby Dooby, which is good. Uptown, Only the Lonely, Blue Angel, all the ones that I mentioned. And Old Pretty Woman as well. Then we have disc two. Which is just like a few, like uh, You Got It, which is good. Uh, a few others as well, and A Running Scared, a 1985 version. In Dreams, 1987 version. Yeah, a few others as well. That's basically it. But it is very good. Next, I have Bobby Brown, King of Stage. The first album released by Bobby Brown. Which only features a few good songs, like Girl Next Door... Baby, I want to tell you something, I think. And 17, that's it. Yeah. Good singer in the 80s and early 90s. Just, uh, yeah, you know. Anyway, next I have Drowning Pool, which is Center, the best Drowning Pool album ever made, which features Center, Bodies, Let the Bodies Hit the Floor, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I know, that was rather quick. Next, I have Beavis and Butthead. This is the Beavis and Butthead Experience, the TV show, featuring them, like, with the band Anthrax, and Anthrax doing a version of Looking Down the Barrel of a Gun, which is the Beastie Boys song, I think, and then with Run DMC and them doing a song called Bounce, which is really all right. But the CD is so-so. Just the songs in there are just kind of weird. Some of them are just, uh, you know, not bad. Next, I have the best of CCR, or Creedence Clearwater Revival. I like these guys because they have great songs like Proud Mary, Bad Moon Rising, Traveling Band, uh, Up Around the Bend, and what's that one, uh, Down on the Corner. A lot of great songs. They're just not together anymore. They haven't, for, they haven't been together since the 70s or something like that. But they are they were definitely good. Yeah, John Fogarty, who's the lead singer, he's a solo singer now and does a great job. Now don't laugh at me at this one, but the next one I have is Britney Spears' Greatest Hits. My prerogative. Her version of My Prerogative and all of her hits like Baby One More Time, Sometimes, Stronger, You Drive Me Crazy, 
Oops, I did it again. Yeah, I mean, uh, and her version of my prerogative, but I mean, it's good. It It is good, but just don't get me wrong or anything. I dislike her old music. I'm a guy. I mean, what can you do? I'm not a... I just... I love women. And I think that she was a great singer. There you go. Now, please don't take this the wrong way either. But the next one I have is... The Spice Girls. Yeah, Spice. Which features the song on there, Wanna Be, you know. If you wanna be my lover... You gotta get with my friends. Making this too easy, but that's the way it is. I'm getting too much into it. <laughs> but they do sing another one called Spice Up Your Life, which is pretty good. It's from another album. And another one called Goodbye. Way too sad. But it's from that CD you probably remember. Now that's what I call music. You probably remember. But it is not bad. I got this at a flea market. I mean, it was, I think it was $3. And I'm like, okay, I'll take it. Next we have the Forrest Gump soundtrack, which I've already shown before. This is disc two, but I got this a while ago, but I don't know where disc one is. I think it just got ruined. And next I have Queen Greatest Hits. I like Queen. Freddie Mercury was a great singer. We have We Will Rock You, We Are the Champions, Another One Bites the Dust, Killer Queen, Somebody to Love, Fat Bottom Girls. But the only problem on here, it does not have Bohemian Rhapsody. Come on. If you want to make a Queen album like this called Greatest Hits, you got to have Bohemian Rhapsody on this. But still, it's great. It's good songs in there, but they're just missing one song. It's from the album Night of the Opera. And here I have a blank CD, which features various artists. It says Prince and Carmen. Carmen is a singer, religious guy, and sings a, a song called Amen, a song about Jesus, which is very good. And features uh, Bat Dance by Prince on here from the movie Batman. Uh, a song called Controversy and Delirious. No, not Delirious. So what's that song? Scandalous. Scandalous from Batman. And many others as well. It's just... I'm just a variety kind of guy, you know. I just like so many artists. Over here, I have a CD, which is from the Grand Theft Auto Vice City soundtrack. You remember that video game. Well, this is one of the CDs, and it's cracked. I don't think it works anymore, as I've had it for a while. I think it has uh, Billy Jean by Michael Jackson here. I don't know. If I could play this, I could find out. Or I could just Google it of what is on this CD. And here I have The Very Best of Prince. Now, I know some people may think he's gay or anything like that, but he is very good to listen to. Like his songs, 1999, I'm going to party like it's 1999. Great song, probably the best one he made. I Want to Be Your Lover, great song. Little Red Corvette, that is probably the best song he made. But that's very good, too. Uh, Let's Go Crazy, great song. When Doves Cry, Purple Rain, and Kiss. You know, I just want your extra time and your kiss. <laughs> I know, I sing it too much as I listen to it, like on uh, a CD or whatever. Now we'll move on. Next, I have a CD. It has a letter T on there. But this is Trapped, T-R-A-P-T. They did a song for a wrestling pay-per-view called Bad Blood. And it's a song on here they did. And it's called Headstrong. It's very good. It's uh, parental advisory because they say the word uh, shit in it. Yeah. But that's just mostly it. But it, I've had it for a while. I got it at Target back in the days. Uh-huh. It's good. Next I have Now That's What I Call Music Volume 4. I used to collect these a lot back in the day. I collected them all the way up to number seven, I think, uh, just when the music started getting a little bit bad. I don't know. And this features like a few good songs that I like. Uh, Smash Mouth, When the Morning Comes. I love Smash Mouth. As I like their song All Star. Who's there? Digging your scene. Can't get enough of your. I can't get enough of your love, baby. Whatever it is. A few others. And can't really remember what the other one is, but it doesn't matter. But it's pretty good. I had, like, now that's what I call music volume 1, 2, and 3. F 5 I did as well, and 6. But when we got to, like, 7 or 8, I stopped collecting them. Let me just, uh, stretch out a little bit. Next one I have the Bee Gees, One Night Only. The only Bee Gees CD I have 
which is all, a lot of their songs like You Should Be Dancing, Night Fever, How Can You Mend a Broken Heart, a version of Grease, How Deep Is Your Love, Jive Tonkin', Staying Alive. A lot of great songs here. Saw the performance as well on TV. Very good performance of them. They are legendary. And good stuff. Next I have Classic Rock 1965, which is like songs from that era. We have Mr. Tambourine Man by the, by the Birds. For Your Love by the Yardbirds. In the Midnight Hour, the I don't remember who sings it. You Lost That Love and Feeling by the Righteous Brothers. My Girl by the Temptations. Wooly Bully by Sam the Sham. Uh, let's see. Help Me Rhonda by the Beach Boys. Baby I'm Yours, Do You Believe in Magic? I Can't Help Myself or Sugar Pie Honey Bunch by the Four Tops, I think. Shotgun by, uh, I want to say Jimmy Walker, but it is not that guy. I Got You Babe, Sonny and Cher. And that's about it. Good stuff, though. You know, good 60s music, because 60s music is good. Next, I have Chuck Berry, Greatest Sets, which features Sweet Little 16, School Days, Ring, Ring, Goes the Bell, Maybelline, Rock and Roll Music, Beatles also did a version of it, and so did the Beach Boys, I think, and Johnny B. Good. He also did a Christmas song called Run, Rudolph, Run, which is pretty good. Yeah. Now these next ones over here, these are blank CDs. This is a wrestler theme and so is this one. We'll not get into them just because I don't feel like it. We'll move on. Next I have Michael Jackson, Off the Wall. This is the special edition which features bonus tracks. A version of Don't Stop Till You Get Enough with like his brothers or whatever it is he's doing. Got Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, Rock With You, Working Day and Night, get Off the Wall, She's Out of My Life, and many others. And interviews and stuff like with Quincy Jones and a few others. Next one I have over here, I have the soundtrack to the movie Purple Rain, Prince and the Revolution, which is good. We have Let's Go Crazy, When Doves Cry, Baby I'm a Star, and Purple Rain. It's very good. I have the movie as well. It's pretty violent, but you know, it's all right. Then I have Prince, The Hits, Volume 2, which feature Controversy, I Want to Be Your Lover, Little Red Corvette, Raspberry Beret, Kiss, and Purple Rain. And I do have the first one as well. I just noticed that. It's right up here. Here it is. It's the way it looks. We have When Dubs Cry, Up, uh, Let's Go Crazy, 1999, and that's about it. Yeah, not much to say about it. Next over here, I have The Four Tops. Which feature um, like Sugar Pie, Honey Bunch, and uh, that song, Reach Out, I'll Be There. And that's basically it. Next I have WWF The Music Volume 2. I have shown you my, I have shown you my WWF and WWE CD collection in my uh, music CDs that you saw earlier. So um, yeah, this is the second one I have, which features The Undertaker's theme, Stone Cold, Ahmed Johnson, Sabor, Mark Marrow, Mankind, Dude Love, The Nation of Domination, Ken Shamrock, Sonny, and Shawn Michaels, but a very bad version of his theme, which is not the one that he used. You know, and I have WWF Music Volume 3, which I already mentioned, please check it out. Next, I have WWF Aggression. These are like rap versions, as it says, of the official wrestling superstars' themes. Like D-Generation X, The Kings by Run DMC, which is good. Mankind, The Rock, Know Your Role, which is pretty good by Method Man. Stone Cold, seen by Snoop Dogg. Vincent Mann, theme. Gangrel, Kane, which is pretty good by the East Siders, I think it is. And Pimpin' Ain't Easy by Ice-T, which is so-so. The Big Show by Mac-10, K-Mac, and Boo Capone featuring MC... I can't even... I don't even know who the hell. I hate rap, but it's pretty good. And The Undertaker's theme. And that's about it. But it's not bad, you know. It's just not bad. Next I have... Now, this was a soundtrack to a movie. The movie was horrible. I don't even have it, but I have seen it several times. It's the soundtrack to Ready to Rumble. 
you know, uh, Jimmy King, uh, the wrestler in it, played by Oliver Platt. And has David Arquette and Scott Kahn as these wrestling fans of WCW. And their favorite wrestler is Jimmy King. And he winds up losing his world heavyweight belt. And he's fired, like, from the action and all that stuff. The songs on here are really not all that great. It features a version of Hit Me Baby One More Time but by a guy named Ahmed Zappa, who is in the movie, who plays a convenience store jerk. And he does a version with another guy. I mean, I used to listen to it a lot. I thought it was funny, but now I don't anymore. I think it's just pretty much crap. And as Motley Crue, Girls, 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 and the song uh, King of Rock by Run DMC. Uh huh. Like I said, the movie was stupid, but the soundtrack is not all that great either. Next one I have is WWF Forcible Entry, which are theme songs. We have Drowning Pool's version of the game. Now, I prefer Drowning Pool's version more than Motorhead, as I like the way that they sang it. But Motorhead does a great job, too, but I kind of prefer Drowning Pool's version better. We have Kid Rock Legs, which is Stacy Keebler's. Creed, Young Grow, Young Grown, Young Grow Old. Nobody's theme. Disturbed, Glass Shatter, Stone Cold theme, like in 2001. Limp Bizkit Rollin', a remake of The Undertaker's theme. Our Lady Peace, whatever, which is Chris Benoit's second theme when he was face. Rob Zombie, Never Gonna Stop Me, Edge's theme, but it's pretty much a remake. Breaking Point, One of a Kind, which is Rob Van Dam. Marilyn Manson, The Beautiful People, the, the theme of SmackDown in that time. The Union Underground Across the Nation, Raw's theme from 2002 to 2006. Six, I think. Uh, seven does break the walls down. Chris Jericho, saliva turn the tables. Monster magnet live for the moment, which is Matt Hardy. Seeming it was Matt Hardy version one. And you remember a few others and Lita's theme and a few others, but it does have a bonus track, which is Kane's theme. But it's not on here. I don't have the bonus one. Yep. Next, I have WCW Mayhem, the music. WCW themes, including Sting's theme, Buff Daddy, Buff Bagwell, Goldberg, the NWO Wolf Pack, and many others. I wasn't really the biggest fan of WCW. I was, like, in 97 and 98, I think. Like, when Bret Hart was wrestling for them. And I liked Sting as well. And that's about it. And next, I have a WWE CD, which is Anthology. Which is disc 3. I don't have disc 2 and 1. Well, disc 2, I don't know where it is. But Anthology was pretty good. It had a lot of Superstars themes. But this one is like theme songs of Now from 2002 or whatever. Like uh, Brock Lesnar's theme, Shane McMahon, many others. And I have two CDs of WWE Originals, which is the Superstars singing their themes or, or whatever they're doing. Like, We've Had Enough is the Dudley Boys, I Just Want You, Trish Stratus, Crossing Borders, Rey Mysterio, Can You Dig It by Booker T, I Don't Suck Really, which is Kurt Angle. It's pretty good. He goes like, I don't suck, I don't suck, I don't suck. Uh-huh. And some of them that are like not so good, uh, We Lie, We Cheat, We Steal, Eddie and Chavo Guerrero, which is really good. And the song put a little ass on it. Why is that even on here? That's a waste. Why can't we just dance with Stacy Keeler and Basic Thugonomics? John Cena's old theme before he went to uh, My Time Is Now. Alright, just gotta stretch out. Next one I have is WWE Thematic. This is WWE The Music Volume 6, which features theme songs like Evolution, Line in the Sand by Motorhead, Carlito, Chavo Guerrero. JBL, John Bradshaw Layfield, The Undertaker, Shelton Benjamin, Billy Kidman, and a few others. It's not that bad, though. I also have Elvis Presley, Heart and Soul, featuring Love Me Tender. Uh, a few others, I mean, uh, some of them I haven't listened to. Are You Lonesome Tonight? Can't Help Falling in Love with, with You? Beautiful song. Suspicious Minds and a few others, and there you go. That's basically it. Over here, I have Billy Idol. I have shown you my Billy Idol CDs already. And here's the other ones I have. I have his first album, Billy Idol, which features like uh, 
Hot in the City and White Wedding, which are the only ones that are good on there, pretty much. Next I have, I have Rebel Yell, but this is the, uh, as it says, Expanded Edition. I like to have the original one. We have Rebel Yell, Daytime Drama, which is pretty good, Eyes Without a Face, Flesh for Fantasy, and Catch My Fall. And some bonus tracks as well, but that's just basically it. Good stuff on here. Now, we, next one we have is Billy Idol Idol Songs. And featuring the songs that I mentioned on here, but also has Don't Need a Gun and Dancing with Myself, which is from his album um, Don't Stop, actually, but I forgot to mention it's on that one. And here I have Billy Idol's Greatest Hits, which are Rebel Yell, uh, Moni Moni as well, which is also on it. Eyes Out of Face, Flesh for Fantasy, Don't Need a Gun, and a few other bonus tracks as well. And that's it. And here I have Neil Diamond. Now, don't get me wrong. He's definitely good to listen to. We have Sweet Caroline. Bum, good times never seem so good. So good, so good. And we also have Forever in Blue Jeans, great song, Manuel Diamond, and many others, and his version of I'm a Believer, which is a hundred times better than the Monkees version. I don't, I do not like the Monkees version at all. And we have this too, but just a, a bunch on here that I have not listened to. But he is good to listen to. Here I have the music from the motion picture Wayne's World. I have the movie on VHS. Soundtrack is great. We have Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, Dreamweaver, um, Ballroom Blitz, the version by Tia Correa, Car by Cassandra, uh, Alice Cooper Feed My Frankenstein, and Why You Want to Break My Heart that she does on there, Cassandra's version, and a few others. Very good one as well, and movie's awesome. And here I have Wayne's World 2 with a soundtrack. I have this on VHS and DVD as well, and Blu-ray. And I have to say that this is pretty good. Movie was good too. Features the YMCA by the Village People, Aerosmith's version of Shut Up and Dance, and Dude Looks Like a Lady. They're all live versions, which are great. But CD's really not in good condition. It's kind of messed up. It skips a lot too. But like I said, the movie is very good, and so is the soundtrack. Next I have, I have Kid Rock, which is Devil Without a Cause. This is the edited version, you know, because he curses a lot. And it's, again, clean version, which we have uh, Ball with Doll, which is a great one. You know, Ball with the Ball, the Bang, the Bang, Diggy, 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 Shut the Monkeys and I Jump the Boogie. Yeah. Then we have Cowboy, another great one as well. And I'm heading out west, sucker, because I want to be a cowboy, baby. And the third one, Devil Without a Cause, which is not bad. There's a lot of cursing in it, you know. But I do have the cursing version, but as much as I hate to show it, he is given the finger. That's why. Um, yeah, that's why that that's it shows on there that it's not edited. The dirty version. And here I have Van Halen. These are, these are like their greatest hits. We've got... Uh, we have You Really Got Me, which I like way better than the Kinks version because Van Halen does a better job. Then we have number over here we have where is it? We have Jump. Another great song as well. And a version of Oh Pretty Woman, which is pretty good. And there you are. Next over here I have Junk Jams. This is volume three. And on here, we have the intro, which is It's Awesome Baby by Dick Vitale, and then the Tribal Dance by Two Unlimited, which is really good. You know, it's a great intro. And then we got I Like It Like That by Tito Nieves, which is good, and Come On and Ride the Train by Quad City DJs, which is really good. Great 90s stuff. A few others as well, but just the other ones on here. And we have Cotton Eye Joe by Rednecks, and That's the Way I Like It by KC and the Sunshine Band. Always love the Jock Jams and Jock Rock CDs. They're good. Now, over here, these are not music CDs. These are comedy CDs. 
This is the Jerky Boys. If you don't remember the Jerky Boys, they were guys that did prank calls. Like, uh, the first one is the irate tile man. He'd be like, yeah, how you doing? Who's in charge over there? What can I do for you, sir? Listen, I bought 400 square uh, kitchen of ceramic there tiles there today. All right, and the fucking half of these things are busted. Yeah, a lot of cursing, but they're funny. They'd just be like doing these prank calls or it, their names are Johnny and Kamal. Like, uh, Johnny be like a guy from New York, like a guy named Frank Rizzo, R-I-Z-Z-O. And that's basically how he was, or Kamal be like an Indian man, or wherever he go, like, Hey, Lord, I have a problem with my eye. I can't see properly. I was walking on the street. I worked with the one eye cobra, and the, the snake went crazy as I hit the wrong tune. They hit my eye with teeth. It took my eye and my poisonous eye because I was going, <laughs> Yeah, and that's basically just all it is. And uh, the car salesman, which is really funny, the sushi chef, it's funny, the super across the way is funny, the gay model's funny, uh, the auto mechanic, that's probably the best one, but it's funny. Um, many others as well, and Uncle Freddy, you know, he was just a character, never seen. Over here, I have the Jerky Boys 2, and this one's actually funny. The best one on here is the Terrace Pizza. Kamal is a guy on there that's like, so mad, he's like, shut the fuck up, I'm going to kill you. We are, th we are throwing up everywhere, and you're talking about the coupon. What can I do for you, sir? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> That's all he says. It's funny, just when he yells and yells at him like that. And we have, like, Sparky the Clown, which is funny. Uh, security Service, another funny one. Saul's Nude Beach. Saul Rosenberg, his name was. He'd be, he'd be going like, this is his friend, Saul. I want to join with the. I want to join the beaches with Jim, and uh, I don't want to be tied to motorboats anymore and dragged around like a fool. Yeah. Uh, the diamond dealer, which is funny, Saul's naked photo, kind of gayish, but yeah. Sporting goods and many others. And I also have last the last one I have, the Jerky Boys Three. This is just the way it is. But this one is really not too bad. The funny one is the TV repair. There's like a little Indian or a little Spanish guy in the background named Pico, and he's like getting electrocuted, it sounds like. And it's really funny. It really is. And that's it for that. But it did have a Jerky Boys 4 and a, four, a few others. And I also have the movie that they made, the Jerky Boys movie, which is really okay. It wasn't that great of a movie, but it is pretty funny. And there you are. Next one I have over here, I have TV Guide... 50 all-time favorite TV themes. This is actually pretty good. We have the theme to I Love Lucy, Dragnet, I think Full House. I don't know exactly. I haven't listened to this in a while. Then we have Gilligan's Island, Batman, The Monkees, Mission Impossible, Friends, Frasier, I think, or maybe Cheers. I don't know. Just not sure. Just a lot of TV themes. It's very good. Got this a while ago. And here I have TV Land's favorite TV theme song. This is actually pretty good, too, because we have themes to Batman, but a different version. Magnum P.I., The Golden Girls, I think, All in the Family, which is also on that, and also has Sesame Street on there, and many others, too. Yep. That's it for that. Now over here, now this band, you know, these guys were pretty much alright, and yeah, it's a guy band, but don't get me wrong, it's Sugar Ray. If you remember these guys, they signed the song, When It's Over, you know, all things that she used to say, all words have got in the way, all things that I used to know have gone out the window. Yeah. And they also did another one, uh, I Just Wanna Fly, which is pretty good, which is not on here, it's on another album. I gotta say the flea market, I mean... I just thought I'd get it. Next one I have is... I know, I have a lot of CDs. Grand Funk Railroad. Which are the guys that sing like, We're an American Band. And my favorite, The Locomotion. I used to listen to that a lot when I was a kid. And that's it. Here I have an interesting CD. This is Vietnam, A Musical Retrospective. We have uh, Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys. Born to be Wild by Steppenwolf. Uh, we have Rescue Me by, I forgot her name, sorry. Wipeout by the Safaris. 
Incense and Peppermints by Strawberry Alarm Clock, California Dreaming by the Mamas and the Papas, and Wild Thing by uh, the Trogs. It's pretty good. Next, I have the soundtrack to the movie Space Jam. Yeah. A lot of good songs in here, like uh, the Space Jam one by the Quad City DJs, I think. I Believe I Can Fly by R. Kelly. Great song on there, and many others, too. Love the movie as well, and the soundtrack is great. Here I have a CD of the Blues Brothers. This is disc two, though. Disc one is cracked, unfortunately. Disc one features like Soul Man and the opening uh, Can't Turn You Loose, whoever it is. Disc two has like the songs from the Blues Brothers movie, like Shake a Tail Feather, The Old Landmark with James Brown. Um, what else? Rawhide, the theme from Rawhide, and Minnie the Moocher, which Cab Calloway does. Somebody to Love and Sweet Home Chicago, I think, and their version of Jailhouse Rock and many others. Yep. Blues Brothers are pretty good, you know. They're, they are still together. They just do, like, occasional appearances or whatever. Yep. Next one I have, I have The Doors, Greatest Hits, featuring Hello, I Love You, Light My Fire, Pe uh, People Are Strange, Riders on the Storm, Break On Through to the Other Side, and many others. I know I have a CD that's um, a two-disc collection, but I figure I get this one too, you know, in case something happens to the other one. And here I have Ray Charles. Yeah, Ray Charles. Which uh, has, like, has on here what I say, you know. A few others as well in here, but I don't really listen to it a whole lot. I do like Ray Charles, but just don't really listen to him a whole lot. <clears throat> Never even seen the movie Ray that Jamie Foxx did. And here I have an unusual one. The Bay City Rollers. With the song Saturday Night, you know. <laughs> uh, how's it go? I'm like, they go. <laughs> Gonna get up, we'll be done. Do it all Saturday night. Saturday night. Saturday night. Yeah. It's pretty good. You know, I heard it on a music advertisement. I thought it was a pretty good song. And that's it for them. So now the rest of them that I have in here, these are just all CDs that I burned on uh, Bear Share and stuff. Like we got Paul Abdul, Bon Jovi, The Spice Girls, which has Spice Up Your Life, Paul Abdul, It's Straight Up. Because I used to listen to that song when I was a kid. Got the Kiss Alive one because the one that I had was ruined. So my mom burned this for me too. Get the songs in there. And the thing on their stereo grand, I seen that song, you know, Walkie Talkie Man, if you probably remember that. Very, very fast song. And Rolling Stones as well, a few songs. Yeah, I know, I have a lot of these, but a lot of these are the same ones on there, but because I had to put on there, like, to put more things on the CD, like, don't waste a lot of the free space or whatever, you know. Got the OJs, like, uh, Love Train and Used to Be My Girl and WWE themes as well. And you got Nelly, like uh, Country Grammar, Ride With Me, and E.I. I used to like uh, his album. He also sings that song uh, Hot in here, which is pretty good. And TV themes. Then I have one which has Michael Jackson, well, songs I already have. Then I have The Who, Pinball Wizard, Jackson Brown, Doctor in My Eyes, and Running on Empty, I think. TV themes and other stuff. The Black Eyed Peas, which I don't even know why I have it. Three Days Grace, which is I Hate Everything About You. I heard it from a uh, video game. Leonard Skinner, Freebird, and Roy Orbison. Uh, Elvis, which is uh, the song Al Almost Always True to You from the movie Blue Hawaii. The Bee Gees, The Spice Girls, and DMX. I don't even know why I have this, but it's that song. You know, y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. Yeah. Another one which has Lifehouse. The band that sang that song, Hanging By A Moment With You. I used to love that song, but not anymore. Chesney Hawks, the guy who sang that song, the one and only from the movie Doc Hollywood, as you uh, remember. And Eminem, Cleaning Out My Closet. Kenny Loggins, which is Footloose. ACDC, Dun, Dun Dirt Cheap. And WWE Themes. Over here, we got WWE Themes again. Lenny Kravitz, which is Dig In. Pretty good song by him. And Back to the Future, the movie theme. Yeah, go ahead and question like why I have that. Buddy Holly, which is uh, 
I think it's Peggy Sue, and that'll be the day. Something like that. Over here, I got the, a the OJs again. Neil Sedaka, breaking up is hard to do. Don't laugh. All right, go ahead. Isaac Hayes, um, Shaft, you know. Bay City Rollers again, you know. Lionel Richie, which is you are. You are the sun. You are the rain. Olivia Newton-John, let's get physical. <laughs> yeah. Jay Giles Band, uh, Centerfold and Freeze Frames. I love their songs. ACDC as well. Vanilla Ice, uh, which is from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, uh, Ninja. <laughs> go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go. Ninja Rap. Footloose again, the um, <clears throat> song, the Power Rangers theme song, and America's 27 Videos theme, <laughs> yeah. Aaron Carter, yeah, uh, which which is Aaron's party, come get it, you know. People on round, you got to come get it. Everyone together, sing it loud, come get it. Uh-huh. And the other one, oh, Aaron, you know. Aaron, oh, Aaron, what'd I do? Uh-huh. The Beatles. And we have Grease, like a few songs from there, but I already had the CD and Jeopardy. Yeah. I have some game show themes as well. Then we have Prince over here and Smash Mouth, a few of them that I like because I like Smash Mouth, as I mentioned. The Superman movie theme from the first one, Upside Down by Diana Ross and Music by Madonna. The Jerky Boys, Right Said Fred, which is that gay song, I'm Too Sexy for My Shirt. I know, it's stupid. Rick Springfield, now don't get me wrong, because Rick Springfield's very good, like Jesse's Girl, I, uh, what's that one, uh, I've Done Everything For You, and uh, I think Human Touch is pretty good, and what's that one, uh, Don't Talk to Strangers, good one, and Queen as well. Now here's the first disc that I ever made, this was like back in 2005 or six maybe, we got Chic, which is uh, that song, uh, you know, dance, dance, dance. Yowzy, yowzy, yowza. I want to boogie with you. Don't get me wrong. We have Elton John. We have Rocket Man, I think. Stevie Wonder, which is signed, sealed, delivered. And Superstition, I think. And Michael Jackson. And we have another one, which is The Beach Boys, Little St. Nick, and Whitney Houston, One Moment in Time. A little bit of a sad song, you know, but it's pretty good. And we got TV themes, Back to the Future, and Huey Lewis, which I, I think it's a it's a Back in Time from the movie Back to the Future. And <clears throat> then we have Warren G, Warren G, which is a song Regulate. You know, now they drop it in yelling it had been late. Nate Dogg and Warren G had to regulate. Yeah, I kind of like that song. <coughs> Pardon me. Then we have Stained, which is the song It's Been a While. I've heard it from the movie The Butterfly Effect. And it's pretty good. I like I like the song, not the movie. The movie sucked big time. Then we have Usher, which is the song, yeah, you know. And I come from my homies and turn to the gila. There's no one. I don't even know the lyrics. But you know, it's a yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And Prince, a few others. Then we have The Cars, which I believe is Shake It Up and Drive. Great song by The Cars. The Superman Returns theme song. Sexy Back, the clean version, you know, without the cursing. And Justin Timberlake, another song. I think it's Sexy Back with the cursing. And Hanson, mmm, bop. Don't get me wrong, it was good to listen to. You have Elvis, which is uh, Too Much. John Denver, Thank God I'm a Country Boy, I think. And The Twelve Days of Christmas with the Muppets. And we have Kiss from Kiss Alive 3, because my CD was not working. And the Beach Boys disc one, my mom made this for me back in the day. And more blank CDs as well from Max Zell, but they don't have any writing. But we'll just go past them. Then I had the soundtrack to the Punisher movie. Punisher was alright, you know. And wrestling themes as well. Well, these are all wrestling themes. We're not even going to go through them. But over here, we have more. Got a flock of seagulls, which is I ran so far away. The Beatles and Undertaker's theme. I know, I have a lot of different variety. Then we have the Backstreet Boys, which is As Long As You Love Me, Shape of My Heart, and uh, I don't know, and the Beatles as well. Then we have Rockwell, which is a song, Somebody's Watching Me, the only hit that he's known for. And over here, got the Beatles and Billy Idol as well, and the Temptations, Get Ready, Here I Come. Family Feud as well, and Lit, a band that sings that song, uh, My Own Worst Enemy. Elvis. Lou Rawls, which is, uh, you'll never find another love like mine. 
the Blues Brothers again. Soul Man and Richie Valens, which is come on, let's go, I think. And over here we got like David Bowie, which is Space Oddity. White Zombie from the movie Beavis and Butthead Do America. And the Spinners over here, which is I'll Be Around. And many others too. More wrestling themes. Kenny Loggins, which is Mr. Knight. You know, the song from the movie Caddyshack. Stevie Wonder and Kiss. Kenny Rogers, which is Blaze of Glory. ACDC Gone Shooting. Lou Rawls. You Are the Wind Beneath My Wings. And Steppenwolf Magic Carpet Ride. Frankie Valley, which is Big Girls Don't Cry in the Four Seasons, that is. Billy Idol and Kiss and Eminem. Yeah, I have a lot of variety. And here I have Kiss Alive 4, which is like a lot of the songs from the CD. I used to have it. And over here I have Jock Rock. We have And the Home of the Brave, and We Will Rock You, Blitz Street Bop, Money Money by Tommy James, Shotgun by Junior Walker. I almost... Yeah, I almost called it J Jimmy Walker earlier. I Feel Good, Tequila, Born to be Wild, a lot of good songs on here. And over here, Jock Jams Volume 2, Welcome to the Big Show, No Limit, Everybody, Everybody by Black Box, good 90s song, and many others too. And we have Eminem, the Eminem show. This is the clean version, which features Clean Out My Closet and my favorite, Without Me. Very good song. Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band, but the only song I like, Old Time Rock and Roll. Mm-hmm. And that's about it. And over here, don't get me wrong on this, In Sync, No Strings Attached, which is Bye 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 and It's Gonna Be Me. You know, you were growing up in the 90s and you had to... At least admit you listened to them and the Backstreet Boys, and I did. 26 Years of R&B, 1966, Knock on Wood by Eddie Floyd, Hold On, I'm Coming, Sam and Dave, Wilson Pickett as well, many others. We have Pure Funk, which is a disco CD. You know, I like disco music and dance songs. You can't go wrong with them as they're good to listen to. And another one, which is The Who, I think it's Pinball Wizard and The Beatles. Yeah, a lot of these are duplicates, as I mentioned. And that's it. That is all my CDs that I have. I've gone through all of them, and you have seen them. And I hope you all enjoyed it. So as I close this up, and in closing, I will say thank you all for watching this. I hope you all enjoyed my CD collection. I will see you all later. You all like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.